Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to modify your file explorer options so that you get to have uh, better control over uh, your viewing of files, etc. So on your taskbar you should have your file explorer. So go ahead and click on that and you get your, this is your basic default view, right? So uh, let's uh, click on the view tab here and one of the first things you probably want to do is go to navigation pane here and click on expand to open folder and uh, and what that does is say if I click on downloads here it, the left hand side will actually expand to the downloads folder you know it'll it'll open up and it'll show it as selected right otherwise that doesn't happen and uh, you know the left and right hand sides aren't synchronized in that way and usually the folder that you know if you if you do want to drag and drop between one thing and another your the folder you're dragging to is fairly close to the one you're in so you know if you're gonna you're gonna expand uh, you know if I had sub like here I have subfolders and pictures here uh, you know I could drag a file over there I'm a lot closer than having to if that were collapsed having to go into this PC and then pictures that kind of thing let's drag that back don't actually need that there. Okay, so uh, so that's one quick little uh, tweak that we can do. And then also uh, go back to view. You see that the other options show all folders and show libraries. So clicking on show all folders, you see you get a larger selection, including nice things like the control panel here. Right? And uh, if we say show libraries, then our little library choice comes here. And libraries you can actually customize, right? So you can right click and say uh, on one of the libraries and go into properties. And you can add folders to that library, right? So uh, you, you can choose, say, where all your music folders are and what's going to show up under the music library. That's a very powerful feature. Okay, so it's great to have the library accessible. Now if we go um, back up to view here, we have all those selected. Uh, you may want to be seeing file name extensions, right? So if we go back to our downloads, right now, because I checked that off, I can see that these are .exe files, right? Otherwise, if that's unchecked, we just get the file name and you gotta try and kind of figure it out from the icon what it is or from reading the type which isn't always uh, actually accurate, right? So uh, file name extension, something that we would like to have on. Hidden items, if you're troubleshooting your computer in particular, it's nice to have that on. And, and that way, uh, let's see if we can get into an area where that would apply. Drive C here. So, say under users, the default user would normally be hidden, right? So that's unchecked, but you may need to get in there. So, if you click on hidden items, then that's going to be accessible, right? Now, if you really want a uh, full control over all the options, when you click on view, go to options and then click on change folder and search options okay and then uh, you get these three tabs here uh, the first one is a bit about the general behavior clicking on view you can get choices such as always show icons never thumbnails um, here we have show hidden files which we already selected right so it's reflecting that choice but here we have hide protected operating system files which we may want to also uncheck and you say yes to the big warning right and when we click on apply to that click OK you'll see that in addition to the default user or the default folder we have these other folders and the desktop.ini file are visible so if you really need to be seeing everything you're going to want to go into view options change folder and search options click on view and make sure that show hidden files is selected and that hide protected operating systems files is unselected right and unselect hide extensions for known file types if you're starting in here 
Uh, you can also unselect hide empty drives if you're troubleshooting drives and you want to uh, see everything even if it has nothing in it, right? And of course you can scroll up and down and see what the other options are. Click OK and uh, things, other things that you should know uh, the left hand side if you if you hover over just the right edge of the scroll bar there you can resize that so things are more readable right if you have long folder names that becomes necessary okay and um, let's see do we have any we don't have any sample pictures in here but we have our um, preview pane okay which can be turned on and off if we had photos is a new installation so I don't have any photos but if we had photos or other files to preview uh, that could be over there on the right hand side and uh, there's also a details pane that you can turn on and off okay and, and of course you can select the style you know extra large icons small icons tiles let's go to a, a folder with more content here so we can see how that changes so view, so extra large icons, whoa, they're big, right? Small icons, tiles, right? Content, list, large icons, medium, and details. I tend to find details is the most useful because then you get, you know, the date modified and the size, etc. cetera. Um, here's our little preview area there that we can, or details pane that we can turn off. So uh, there, there are lots of view options. Okay, item checkboxes means when you have that selected that you can actually select multiple, do multiple selections this way. So if there were a variety of things that you wanted to delete, for example, right, check them all off and then hit your delete key, right, and, uh, and they'll all be in the delete list. So that's really handy if you have trouble multiple selecting. Um, the, the standard way, let me turn that off for a second, show you the standard way to multiple select. So if you, it, this works in all kinds of software, file explorer, you know, a list of emails, etc. Um, it's a common Windows thing. So if you select one item and you want everything in a row from there for a certain distance, select the first one, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then select the last one and it'll select everything in between. If you want all of those except for one of them, you can hold down the control key on your keyboard and click on the one you don't want, right? Uh, which shows you that the control key is a toggle. So you can hold down the control key and just click on different items to add them to the selection or to remove them, right? So, so the shift key does a, a full group, right? But the control key lets you hunt and peck, right? So that's, that's the standard way to do it um, if you don't want the item checkboxes. Uh, functionality or if you don't have that available in something like an email program okay so uh, those are quick ways to uh, optimize your file explorer experience hopefully this has helped you uh, get around and decreased your frustration with uh, the new file explorer interface thanks for watching